Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising monthly tarot reading August 2018. So for this month guys I, I have chose a seven card spread and before we start with the spread if you find it useful and if you know more about your month uh, you can purchase the extended tarot reading for just as little as one dollar which is focused mainly on career or strictly upon the career and the relationship life regarding your star sign so without further ado uh, let's go to the spread now the first card which um, <clears throat> representing uh, the uh, carry on circumstances which are gonna follow up even in this month uh, this is going to be the eight of wands for you Aries and then we do have the topic of the month that um, will take place for you that will be the eight of cups here then the next card represents uh, the um, the possibilities or rather things you can focus on things that can be really achieved during that month now this card is a, a card of selection what I mean is that you can select not to make it or you can select to make it so that this is something of your choosing here then the next card represents the best possible approach toward the month itself and toward the topic here that is going to be the temperance card let me spread them a little bit uh, on the table here all right so uh, then afterwards the uh, fifth card represents the attitude of the people around you towards you this is going to be the queen of pentacles the the sixth card represents the challenges to be faced from your from your behalf here uh, in this month of August. That will be the Tower card, and the last one represents the result of all that, which is the Knight of Swords. So uh, as you can see, that is a little bit of a complex spread, and let's see um, where we can start from. So for what it seems, the carry on circumstances and the topic of the week are in kind of a contradictory here. Uh, what I mean is that these couple of cards in conjunction to one another represents a, a, a certain hopes which may prove not to be exactly the way that you have hoped is going to turn out in the sense of that um, you may have to go off a, a, specific, a specific road a particular way of an execution but these couple of cards does not say you know that you will not be able to take advantage of those kind of an opportunity so in other words it's kind of like a change of plans uh, trying to reorganize strategy or planning etc etc and uh, as well the topic of the week here of the eight of cups does speaks for um, kind of uh, I like to look at this card as a uh, drop off of certain burdens that actually holds us back because uh, uh, sometimes the eight of cups uh, represents the necessity you know to refresh certain fields in um, in one life of course this doesn't happen without any unpleasant circumstances uh, sometimes it is very hard to let go of etc etc but the the carry on circumstances is gonna make it easy for you because uh, the eight of wands from another hand gives you things to look forward to and those things have been forming um, in the month of July most likely so for what we can see from these couple of cards now this is going to be a month of uh, a certain changes uh, a changes which you Aries however needs to first uh, obtain an insight of because um, these changes will reflect exactly those fields which uh, in your life which actually you may find as a burden fields which are uh, kind of putting you in, on a back seat fields which are um, um, placing you into a hold uh, or rather like halt situation and then uh, as we can observe here the eight of pentacles the, the this card was uh, the opportunities and things you can go for now the, the eight of pentacles in a general sense of meaning speaks that um, you can start you know uh, paying more attention to the smaller to, to the smaller details of your surrounding of, of your environment and on top of that of your career business and relationship now depending on your status the, the eight of pentacles takes a a different kind of like sense meaning and approach now if you are kind of feeling uh, very lonely 
you know and if you are feeling that uh, nothing is working out for you uh, DACA represents the openness to attract uh, to kind of like throw yourself into a, a different field or different area of those areas which are uh, throwing ourselves at this very moment now the eight of pentacles is the card pointing that you should master something master of a teaching of a skill of a, of a learning if you want to say it that way as well and uh, that is very well related to the insight that, that i said here with the eight of cups uh, an insight upon those few which you need to reach a certain uh, liberation so to deliberate yourself from uh, these stagnations uh, you you have to or it will be it will be beneficial for you you know to pay more close attention to the minor details and I do believe that these minor details are going to give you the insight you need either for your relationship career you know or a social circle etc etc uh, <clears throat> things are going to work out very well for you you know if you are honest with yourself and as well with the eight of Pentacles if you are open to reconstruct these areas for example if that's your relationship you need to uh, relationship life now you need to know that these cards are not specific for your relationship or for your marriage etc I'm talking about for your relationship life in general now if you want that to be improved you have to try to reconstruct it so you can speed up the process same goes for your career but the best possible approach here as we can see the temperance takes place this is a, about being very um, uh, how can I place the not exactly balanced let's say milder with your approach especially if that approach uh, involves other people what I'm trying to say here is that you should not go to any extreme actions and extreme measures by any sense all right but you always need to kind of like have your sovereignty have your opinion and uh, as well have your independable point but that point should not be bruised upon the other people instead what you can do in order to um, attract followers on your behalf and to attract people who are going to support you furthermore is to show compassion, solidarity and uh, um, to be able to place yourself into other people's shoes. But the temperance goes even deeper now. This card points that you have to face those kind of activities and those kind of sides of one's transformation which are annoying for you, which uh, you would rather uh, don't want to deal with, uh, for example, if your manager is is uh, a pain in your in your leg, let's say, all right, uh, and you don't want to talk with them, and you don't have, to, and you don't want to deal with them. Eventually, you will have to. This is not something that you can avoid, all right. And temperance is telling that the 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 sooner you do it the better so uh, what we need to, what you Aries needs to be ready to do during that particular moment is to face uh, whatever activity is coming uh, and to face it in a sense that you need to cope as well with its negative side all right because uh, one activity is like a coin it has two sides one pleasant one unpleasant and in order to be able to uh, kind of like carry on that coin with you you have to deal with both of its sides and then uh, we have the attitude of the people which are supporting you here for what it seems because this is a totally supportive card now a few things I'm gonna say now the Queen of Pentacles I don't think that this is a specific person that is a um, general stand, standpoint for the people which loves you and people which are supporting you now that car represents sharing up a, a good fortune um, providing you know material support and as well being um, peop these people will advise you for the yet unexplored opportunities that you do have around yourself so for example just to give you an example here how this could uh, play out is let's say that you uh, decide that your relationship um, has to be deliberated from you know but you're feeling uh, kind of like miserable not not miserable but let's say poignant about it because you still have a thing for the person you are with um, uh, these people will kind of encourage you that uh, the world doesn't end with that person and there are many others which are much better uh, and that way you are going to be lift up spirit and uh, you will have that courage you know to to face the change and to um, deliberate yourself from as I said things which aren't working out for you any longer now 
challenges to be faced we have the tower card so you have to be very prepared now the tower card with the eight of cups as a topic and the challenges does speaks that uh, it's very difficult to be explained now you need to know that uh, you should not presume how the outcome is going to play out now you have to um, act deal with things and basically live for the moment day by day so what I'm trying to say here is that you should not plan that something is going to turn out in specific way because there will be a lot of around turns now the tower card points that the surprises the negative surprises are going to come from the least expected uh, people situations and at least expected circumstances to happen all right so you have to be always on your guard now these are the challenges the tower car could represent the crush you have although you do have a, a very uh, happy family you know and you couldn't imagine that you will love someone else than your wife or your husband all right but here it goes that car could represent the crash that you do have, it could represent the uh, unplanned pregnancy, it represents the uh, unexpected withdrawal of an um, investor, it could represent a failure of a project, it could represent as well your, <clears throat> your, uh, your firing, all right? or the bankruptcy of the company basically this car represents an unpleasant surprises that you will have to be uh, prepared for and I, I cannot say that you can be really entirely prepared for them but also what you need to know here is the tower card also has cleansing cleansing effect when uh, it, it passes away when it when it do its job and how you can prepare yourself better by following the eight of pentacles being more prone to kind of like give meaning to the minor details into of one situation and of one's activity and at the last we do have the Knight of Swords as a final outcome. Now, this card points that you will, at the end of the most, uh, at the month, most likely, when everything is wrapped up, when uh, now you have deliberated yourself, you know, you you have learned things, um, you kept the good terms in between you and other people, and you have faced those kind of. Uh, uh, challenges of uh, unexpected unpleasant surprises you will have to take some uh, decisions on your behalf and these decisions need to be made very fast all right with the um, knight of swords usually when that card comes as a, a decision making it means that you have to consult your decisions with your emotions or in other words you shouldn't do anything that you would not want to do and also the card asks you to have courage you know and to seek the truth it is very very important now you need to stand um, with only a true a, a, let's say truthful intentions and very solid uh, convictions behind your decisions and behind your choosing making and also the card points here is that you will have to also stand uh, for your personal rights so you may be disputed but all in all areas uh, the August is going to be a month of um, certain changes or let's say deliberations as I said and I hope that eventually it turns out uh, for the uh, for the greater good here for you and uh, that being said guys this was your monthly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again in case you do want to go even deeper and see where these changes are taking place either your career or your relationship there will be an extended tarot reading that focuses entirely and, and purely on your career and on your um, a relationship and you can purchase it for just as little as one dollar um, fine wire from the description written down below in this video and if you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be as well written down below uh, <clears throat> in the uh, in the description of the video Rod signing out now see you next time bye